Here with Pitt Swimming and Diving head coach John Hargis after the Panthers completed a dominating victory over Denison in tonight's sprint dual meet at Trees Pool. Coach, what were your thoughts on the meet? It was a good meet. You know, every year we do this with Denison and, and we try to change the format to, to uh, kind of do a couple of different things. And uh, it's fun to do. We've, we've always appreciated Denison and, and them uh, competing against us this time of year. So we, we enjoy it. We have a good time and uh, our kids race well today. A lot of energy in the pool. First home meet of 2020. What can you take away from tonight's action? Again, we're just trying to build upon each meet. You know, every, every year we go into it with, with a mindset of getting better as the year goes, and that's what we want to continue to see. We've got about five more weeks, if you will, until conference, so we want to, you know, slowly start to see our kids come around a little bit, and that's the joy of the sprint meet as well. We can truly identify how much speed we need to gain through the next resting phase. So, uh, you know, it gives us a good starting point and a good gauge, and we're excited where we are. Two more home meets the next two weekends here at Trees Pool. What will training be like leading up to those meets with the ACC championships just a few weeks away? Again, we just got to continue to sharpen up, you know, continue to sharpen. More kids are going to start getting more rest as, as we go forward. And again, that's what we've got to try to identify is who that is and who that's going to be. Uh, ultimately, we got to select our ACC team and, and pick the best 18 swimmers and that we can pick from both sides and, and go to the meet. So that's what we want to be able to do, but continue to, again, sharpen up, focus on our details and get better. Here with Blaze Vera after the Panthers dominated tonight's meet against Denison with a sprint duel. Blaze, being a sprinter, did you enjoy this meet any different than any other meets? Uh, for us, it's pretty much the same, but it's good to see some of the guys that normally do like the two and the five get to hop in the hundred, and two IM get to do hundred IM, five hundred gets to do three hundred. It's cool to get to see them do some sprints every once in a while. And, uh, with the different events, a lot of guys mixing and matching the events. Is that something that benefits you in training with ACC preparation coming up? I think it's really good for everyone. Uh, we get to race a bunch against a bunch of people that we don't normally get to race against. You get to see some people like Hoppe did today, popped off in a 50 back. No one knew that was going to happen. So it's really good just to know who you're racing against and just have fun with everyone. And finally, how do you feel you're doing with a month here until the ACC championships? Where do you feel your status is at? What can you improve going into the ACCs? Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, there's some, a little bit of detail work that I need to work on, but I feel like coming up we're going to have a lot of really good swims and a lot of really fast swims, especially in some of our relays, so I'm pretty excited. We're here with Kayla Graham after Pitt's dual meet victory over Denison on Friday night at Trees Pool. Kayla, it was a sprint dual meet, something that obviously worked out well for you with several victories tonight. What did you make of the meet? Uh, I think it was a really fun meet, swimming like different events than we usually do. For me, it was fun to get to do like 50 fly and 50 back, which like I don't usually do at other meets. So yeah, it was just fun to race. A lot of different events. Do you think that'll help prepare the team and the swimmers for upcoming ACC championships? Yeah, I think like around this time, it can get kind of like stressful, at least like in the past before like my club championship meets, it was like always really, really stressful. So I think doing a meet where like people aren't necessarily in their normal events is kind of takes off a little bit of pressure and helps just get some racing in. So, yeah, I think it helps prepare us. Just a couple more weeks until your first ACC championships. How much are you looking forward to going down to Greensboro and competing? I'm really, really excited to go to, like, my first ACCs just because I remember last year after I was committed, like, looking at the results and just being, like, so excited for everyone, like, doing well. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to get to, like, be there myself. Zero Pittsburgh, oh!